All right, YouTube, <clears throat> wanted to uh, do a video again today because I get a lot of questions about rockscaping and how much rock do I need. Well, what I'm going to do is on this video, I'm going to actually attach some links to another YouTube channel that I got so you can see, so you guys can see how my, my tank started, okay? Now, as you can see, you see this big old pile of rock right here? It's a big old long flat piece of rock. It's probably two and a half feet wide, okay? This rock here. Now, this rock here was way over there. This rock here was laying on top of two other pieces to make like a little cave where they could all lay in there, but that wasn't good enough. So these sharks, uh, and as you see in my other videos, I used to have, I had rock piled all the way to the top here, all around the tank, hiding places. They would all squeeze back there, but as they grew, they throw the rocks wherever they want. Even when you go over here, uh, if you see here the eels underneath there, but the rock has been moved and shifted however they want it. I gave up that fight a long time ago and I've been gradually removing rock as they've gotten larger. You see the rock on this side. Now remember, all of these sides that you're seeing, every one of these sides that you're seeing were all the way to the top, pretty much maybe about six or seven inches below the top with rock. I had mushroom corals and gorg gorgonians. I had the tank, I had probably 20 something fish in here until I uh, made a purchase of a, a uh, powder blue tang, one of the worst purchases I've ever made. Uh, quarantined it for a month, put it in my tank. Two days later, my entire aquarium had, I God knows what, it killed every single fish I had except for the sharks and the eel. This guy here, which I can't get rid of and I wish I could, but I can't catch him. And these two guys. This big old batfish here that's about the size of a wheel. If you can't tell, it's... it's uh, this batfish is probably 16 or 17 inches all the way around. He's very big. Um, he was a rescue, along with the short-tailed nurse shark that you've seen in some of my other videos that uh, I took in because it was not feeding and having a lot of medical issues. Uh, I kept it for three months, got it healthy, eating perfectly again, and then my buddy came and uh, picked it back up to take it to its new home. Uh, so as far as rockscaping goes, what you guys have to remember is these guys are going to destroy anything that you put together, especially once they get large. You're going to see here. I've got this is a this is the smallest shark I've got. It's right right at two feet, it's slightly over two feet. And then you got this guy here, and he's coming in. At, oh, he's getting close to three feet. He's probably 31, 32, 33 inches, something like that. And then you've got this guy back here. It's a male white spotted bamboo. Coral cat shark, which is 25 inches. And he's one of the biggest culprits of destroying things. And then I've got another male white spotted bamboo. And then a three and a half foot zebra eel. When they get bigger, they're gonna take the rock and they're gonna toss it, they're gonna move it wherever they want. So if you're planning on doing some kind of exotic reef sculpture, you better have some something that will bond that rock together where it will not move. Or be prepared to uh, be picking up rock and putting it back where you want it. And when you get a tank that's the size of this tank right here, this is my personal tank. It's obviously very hard. This thing is seven feet by seven feet all the way around, and it's three feet deep. So getting down there to get rock is very, very difficult. As you can see, my, the tank goes all the way to the ceiling. What I would recommend always, and I, they, I, I do agree that bamboo sharks and coral cat sharks can help. They like a little bit of rock. Go as minimal as possible. It'll make your life a whole lot easier. Uh, you won't spend near as much time picking up your tank, turning stuff over. The corals, I had it going really good. My starfish that I got, you see I have a bunch of those. This particular guy right here ate every mushroom coral I had. The Gorgonian was eaten by this guy. And the Duncans were doing fine. I actually removed them today because they continued. I put them on the, I bonded them to the rock. And the sharks are so big now they just knock them over. And I had three of those and they were doing really, really well in this tank. So you can grow coral. The problem is when these guys get really big and they want to knock something over, they're just going to knock it over. You see my live rock, it was, I've had it for years, but they grow those feather dusters have been growing off of it. I have hundreds of those in here. They pop out whenever they want. The starfish actually eat those too. But uh, I would do a minimal amount of rockscaping and we get you a nice deep sand bed. And uh, I'll probably end up having to take more rock out of here before it's all said and done. It's just, you know, these guys are so, so, so destructive. So. Uh, that's uh, if you have any guys have any questions as far as uh, rockscaping your uh, your shark aquarium, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to uh, to answer any questions below.